Assalamu alaikum. Today we will talk about amyloidosis. What is amyloidosis? Amyloidosis is a condition in which normally soluble proteins become insoluble and are deposited in extracellular spaces of various organs or tissues. And by its deposition, it will disturb the normal function of these organs or tissues. These insoluble proteins are called amyloid. More than 20 different proteins can aggregate to form the amyloid. The dye Congo red is commonly used to identify amyloid deposits in tissue. Pathogenesis of amyloid deposition. Amyloid light chain. Amyloid light chain protein is produced by plasma cells and is made up of complete immunoglobulin light chains. The example for this is monoclonal B cell proliferation in plasma cell myeloma. Amyloid associated protein is a protein derived from a larger serum precursor called serum amyloid associated protein. It is synthesized in the liver and is associated with chronic inflammatory disorder. Amyloid beta. Amyloid beta protein is derived from a much larger transmembrane glycoprotein called amyloid precursor protein. It circulates in the plasma, cerebrospinal fluid, and brain interstitial fluid. Amyloid beta is associated with Alzheimer's disease. Amyloid transthyretin. Transthyretin is a normal serum protein that binds and transports thyroxine and retinol. Mutations in the gene encoding transthyretin result in the production of protein that aggregates and form amyloid deposits. The resultant disease is called familial amyloid polyneuropathies. Amyloid beta 2 microglobulin. This type affects patients on long-term hemodialysis because it is not efficiently filtered through dialysis. What are the effects of amyloidosis? Histologically, the amyloid deposition is always extracellular and begins between cells often closely adjacent to the basement membrane. The clinical manifestation of amyloidosis depends on the organ involved. Amyloidosis of the kidney is the most common and most serious. The amyloid deposits are found principally in the glomerulus. At first, there is a focal deposit within the, within the mesangial matrix and diffuse, and diffuse or nodular thickening of the basement membranes. With progression, 
The deposition involves the capillary lumen and eventually leads to total obliteration of the vascular tap. There is obvious thickening of the basement membrane of the capillary loop. In the liver, amyloidosis may result in massive enlargement up to 9 kilograms weight the liver looks extremely pale to grayish and waxy on both the external surface and the cut section. Normal liver function may be preserved even in the setting of severe involvement. In the heart, amyloid deposits are typically found throughout the myocardium, beginning between myocardial fibers and eventually causing their pressure leading to cardiomyopathy with heart failure. The deposition in between the muscle fiber of the heart. Amyloidosis of the adrenals, thyroid, and pituitary is common but without apparent disturbance of function. Nodular depositions in the tongue may produce macroglossia. In the central nervous system, amyloid beta protein is associated with Alzheimer's disease. Thank you.